Rafikis, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again and please accept my apologies. I haven't been recording anything for you guys in the last couple of weeks. I was away with work and I was just not able to get to creating any content for you guys but I'm back now and I'm back with a bag and I missed you guys and I hope you miss me too. So to make up for it, I'm doing what? Two videos. Yeah, two videos my people. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing two videos today. The first one is a makeup tour. No, no, no. The first one is a vanity tour and organization video. I'm going to be showing you how I style and organize my vanity table. So my vanity table is the little area in our household that is just about me. It's a celebration of me. It's where I do my makeup. It's where I do my facials. Little pretty area. And I'm going to be showing you guys today some of the things that I use to style it and look, make it look pretty for me. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys some of the tips and the tricks that I use to organize it. A lot of you guys couldn't believe that I use containers from where pep home because why pep home is the plug I done told you you need to get to pep home you guys I spoke with me Mariana yesterday she's waiting for you go ahead and tell her that I referred you you need to go get yourself the containers you're gonna see in the video right now these containers are just normal Tupperware ubaki you know the normal kabaki that you use for visitors and that visitors tend to take and not bring back that's what i used you guys to to organize my makeup drawers and you won't believe it it's so simple it's so cheap i think the most expensive kabaki was 16 dollars 99 i mean come on and if you get someone you know these people who do cabinetry uh, atmosphere some of these people can be really expensive when they do bespoke cabinetry and bespoke um thingies and dividers for you so this is cheap this is effective and i can't wait to share it with you guys thank you so much for tuning in again and I appreciate you if you're not following me already on Instagram please go ahead and follow me please go ahead and follow me on Twitter I'm with Tendi Lady at Jacobs and please comment below let me know what you try out send me your photos I love to see it when you guys uh, go and try the stuff that I show you I love it when you guys engage with me it really lets me know that I'm doing a good job lets me know that someone is out there listening to me I appreciate you guys too much let me not mumble any further I'm already talking too much let's get into the video first video vanity table tour the second video Separate from this one, I'm going to be showing you how to style these floating shelves, basically any shelf. I'm going to be showing you guys how to style those, and I'm excited, and I hope you learn, and thank you so much for supporting me. Mwah. So I'll start the vanity tour by showing you what I've got here on top of my floating shelves. So the first thing I've got over here, I've got a nice glass tray. I bought this from at home and I just use it to display my current perfumes on there. And then I've got a necklace stand where I display my necklaces and rings from. It's got a marble stand which I really love. I uh, love this perfume. This is the only Chanel perfume I have ever been able to use and it's really good. And then next to it I've got a faux coral. This faux coral I bought at Mr. Price Home. This white one, I love the texture on here. It just adds a nice texture and a very calm ambience to the whole uh, vanity area. I bought it for $199. With Mr. Price home and I really love it. Uh, next to it I've got a vase with a, uh, that I got from at home and I've just placed some faux color lilies in here. I love the crystal effect on this vase and also a really nice place for contemplation on my vanity table and then at the top there I've got a frame that I got from Mr. Price home and the print I just got from the internet printed it out and placed it in there. So over to the bottom part of my vanity table, I've got a couple of stuff here, I've got that round mirror, I've got another mirror that I use to make, uh, that I use for my makeup, so just for close-ups. Uh, over here I've got a little bowl, I bought this in Stockholm last week, it's just a nice little bowl that I keep my jewelry in, uh, some of my earrings, and then this is a rose quartz. Now rose quartz, if you believe in crystals and stuff, rose quartz raises your self-esteem, it promotes self-love, and it's also meant for your heart chakra, for love, balance, protection compassion tranquility and self-discipline so I like to have that there it's just giving me all the vibes all the good energies I've got a candle here I burn a candle every single day it just helps me to get in touch with my higher self then I've got a beautiful picture here of my husband and I on our wedding day these pictures were taken by Tori this frame I picked up from always I bought this in South Africa when we traveled and I had to take it with me I've just never seen anything like this I don't know if they've ever stocked them here 
and I like the gloves and the gold effect and then I've got some fresh flowers here white roses white roses are probably my favorite type of flowers and then the mirror I was talking about I got this from Mombili thank you Mombili and I use it when I'm applying really delicate makeup and then it's got a five times magnifier on the other side and yeah so this is the area how it looks like So over to the containers that I used in my makeup organization, these lunch boxes or kabakis, tupperware, whatever you want to call them, I got from Pepom like I said before. This one I this one is already um, parted in the middle so it's organized and this one has got curved edges which I also really liked. Uh, and then these small ones I use for smaller items in my makeup drawer. You'll see now when I show you how it looks like. Very cheap, very effective and you just throw away the lids since you're not going to make use of them, you just need the actual container. So over here I'm going to show you how the first drawer looks like and how I organized it using those containers. Look at how gorgeous this looks. You're able to see exactly what kind of makeup I have and I'm able to use it in accordance with the way I apply it. And I'm really impressed with how this turned out. So the small containers I use over here to keep my lipsticks in and they are just accessible. Everything looks so nice and neat. Even if you send somebody quickly grab me my lipstick or quickly grab me this, they are able to come in here and they'll know exactly where everything goes. So I use the second one here to just keep my eyebrow stuff in there and then my eyelash palettes are in here. I've got one from Inglot and then the normal weapons. I've had these things for years. Does makeup hookah expire you guys? <laughs> I'm sure it does but I keep this stuff for so long because I don't use it that often. Then I've got my brushes in there. I like that it's inside the drawer then they don't get dusty. Then over here I've got all my concealers, LA Girl, the normal one that everyone uses which is really good. Then I've also got something I picked up from Woolworths recently. I like that it's got SPF, so it's protecting me from the sun. And then Mary Kay concealers that I got when I was in New York. Estee Lauder foundation. This is by far the best foundation I've ever used. It's double wear and it's stay in place, so it doesn't rub off as easily as other foundations do. So this is the color that I use for my foundation, Sepia. I actually had to get a lighter one after I gave birth. I, for some reason, I became lighter in complexion after I gave birth wow guys anyways so that's where i keep my foundations and then over here this is where i keep my powders the powder foundation i use is also from estee lauder and i was, i really like this because you can apply it without having to apply the foundation first so when i want a light coverage then i just use that then i've got the highlighter from mac and some other goodies in there and then i've got my little sponges oh these need a wash uh, the beauty blender blah 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 stuff I've got in there so that's it for the first drawer so over to the second drawer I've got some more makeup in here as well as my skincare products I use body shop tea tree oil brand over here I've got my spritz I use this to set my makeup I made it myself because the spritz that you buy from shops is so expensive I just use rose water, rose water then I mixed it with water normal water and I got the rose water from this skin over there is my coconut oil I usually apply this on my face and then use uh, uh, work it in my face and then I remove my makeup with uh, makeup wipes uh, it's just easier for me and then over here I've got a little I know what it looks like anyways it's it's for the nose to it's a nose hair remover uh, over here I've got my little uh, essential oils this is a muscle oil that I use I got this from Soulstay Spa so I use it to massage my shoulders when they are tight and just to loosen them and then over here I've got my eye makeup remover the next to it is uh, that stuff that you apply before you apply makeup, I forgot what it's called. Over here, I've got my vitamin oil, which I apply over my night oil and then a little massager for the face, just to help it penetrate my skin. And then in this drawer, I've got some mascara, some eyeliner, and then in here, this is where I keep my skincare stuff. Like I said, I use tea tree oil, this is my day cream, and then my night cream is next to it, and then the thin little bottle there is for my eye. This is the night lotion. So I usually apply this after I've washed my face and I'll put on the vitamin oil and massage. This is the day cream. Uh, then this one is for the eye. I apply it once, twice a week. Um, you just put it under your eye. I was trying to open it and I just couldn't. It was too slippery. Anyway, so it's got a little ball inside and you just apply it over your eye. 
to help with uh, to help refresh your eye area. It's really cool. And uh, hmm, okay, what next? Over here, I've got my brushes, my thinner brushes that I use for eyeshadow, concealer, etc. And then this is my face mask, also from T2 Oil. I'm so surprised. A lot of people are allergic to tea tree oil, but for me, it works so well. And last but not least is my third drawer. So I keep a lot of supplies in here. Uh, some stuff that I bought from this game. This stuff is apparently supposed to help you remove that gunk from your nose. I haven't used it yet. Then I've got my facial wipes from here. Like I said in my Instagram stories one time, signature cleansing wipes. These are the best for me. They are big, they are nice and moist, and they are cheap. So I use that. Although they've got a funky smell these days, I don't know. Anyways, so I keep those in there. I never like to run out of them. And then over here, this is a Connie Transform eye palette, eyeshadow palette that I got from Ada. I don't use it enough. I probably need to start using it more. And I just keep this in here because of the size and I'm not able to keep it in the other drawers. So I keep that in here for storage. Some eyelashes, I've never used those on my own. Then I've got a face mask sheet in here. Uh, and then what else do I have in here to show you guys? What else, what else, what else? And then the, I can't remember what this is called, but it's just that thing, that electronic thing that you use to exfoliate your face. Um, I don't use it much. And then some good old pons. So when I'm running out of primer, pons works just this one, then a pair of scissors. So that's it, guys. All right, well, that's it for my vanity tour. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry for the reflection. There was just no way to get around it. The lighting was not at its best. I'm still getting the hang of this, you guys. Please be patient with me, but I hope you were able to get an idea and some inspiration for your own vanity tour. Make it pretty, make it functional, make it efficient, make it effective, and make it affordable for you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.